Bottom left, whoever sells the red Zerg, it is Scarlet. And the top right, whoever sells her opponent, Panda Bear Me. I was curious, why was there no music? Uh, so, yeah. Game one, we saw Panda Bear Me go ahead and go for a Carapace opening, a Carapace Ling Bane attack, while Scarlet went for... Um, Ling defense into Roaches. Got her own 1-1 one, one upgrade. They both were on 1-1, one, one, but with two different unit compositions. And, um, yeah, it didn't work out so well for Panda Bear Me in game one. Kinda, kinda got destroyed. So we'll see what happens in game two. If uh, Panda Bear Me goes for the same build or just switch it up a bit. Like I said before, this is a very volatile matchup. It's very easy for you to for things to spiral out of control because of how easy it is to lose your entire army in the very beginning in the Ling Bane Wars. So that's why it's very volatile. Um and like before we're seeing the same builds from both players. Same openers. Not a whole lot of deviation yet. I guess the only little bit of deviation would be how, how much quicker one player is over the other. And I don't mean by APM, I mean by um, how, how much faster they're getting their drones and overlords. Which, yeah, that would be considered actions per minute, but you don't need 800 actions per minute to make a drone and an overlord. But. Yeah. But Scarlet is a little bit faster on everything. Uh, getting her lings out a little bit faster, getting a double queen, and uh, metabolic boost a little bit faster. Both players sticking to uh, workers on gas, but Scarlet dropping her gas count to two drones on the, on the gas geyser, whereas Panda Bear May still mining gas, so I'm guessing a heavy ling bane attack from Panda Bear May. We do see the bane nest going down. Whereas Scarlet on the other side has not put down her Bayonetta, but instead has gotten a uh, Spine Crawler in the natural. So we're going to see a little bit more of a passive play again from Scarlet with the uh, with the Spine Crawler in addition to her uh, her natural defense. Queen's once again going to go ahead and deny the early Ling Scout from Scarlet. This time, let's see Ward Flings again coming in from Panda Bear. Me get a nibble on the uh, Queen for a little bit. Are they going to be able to get into the main like they did in game one? Yes, they do. Well, they as in the one Zergling. Gonna see Scarlet is on one uh, one on gas now, but Scarlet was secretly on two for a bit. And uh, we do have a Carapace coming from Scarlet this time around, but in a different order compared to game one. Uh, compared to Panda Bear Me. Panda Bear Me went Evo, then Carapace, then Ling Speed, whereas Scarlet went Ling Speed and now is getting Carapace, just like how she did in Game 1. But this time we're going to go ahead and see a third base going down for Scarlet much sooner than than uh, Panda Bear Me. The, well, much sooner than in Game 1 in general. Uh, Panda Bear Me going to go for a mass Ling Bane Flood on two base. Um, and here we go. We have a butt, ourselves a buttload of Lings being revealed. Scarlet does finally see it. Oops, sorry. Uh, but to be much much too late scarlet gonna go ahead and get herself an uh emergency wall in her natural uh with a roach horn in addition to it we have a not a whole lot of banes well now we do we have more banes we have a total of eight banes being morphed in i was saying that a whole lot because i thought it was only going to be like the four or six but well now we have uh 12 banes on the way 13 banes now on the way Gonna bust down this wall. There's not a whole lot of uh, time. Panda Bear Me's got he's got to attack this Evo Chamber, and he's going straight for it. Gonna kill almost everything. That Roach Horn is still alive. The Blast Bane makes an excellent connection, and uh, these Lings are doing terrible, terrible damage to Scarlet's uh, wall. Doing de terrible damage to up, oh, but it did not get the kill, and GG is called. For those of you who might be wondering why, I mean. 
Pain and Bermy could have tried to play this out. It would not have went well. The Roach Warren did not go down, so Scarlet was able to keep making Roaches. Um, if we go back for a second here. So we're going as slow as we can. The The attack point needs to be on this, this uh, Evo chamber. What I like to do personally, and this is me, is that you're 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 basically already revealing what you've got. You've already shown that you're going Ling Bane bust. What and you sacrificing some lanes to weaken the wall is not that bad of an idea. I feel like he's doing it too late though. He should have already been attacking the wall rather than like in this scenario, like the third base is inconsequential to what your objective is. Your objective is you're trying to end the game. The third base was going to either get canceled anyway, or if it was going to sit there, Scarlet was going to miss out on the 300 minerals, or I guess, uh, what was it, 200 and something minerals? Going to miss out on the minerals that she would have needed to defend if she kept the hatchery. Um, there's a, like one lane that just dies from nibbling on a building Evo that doesn't do any damage. Instead of all these lings going to that third, knowing that it's there, you would have been better off going over here and attacking the Roach Warren. Attacking the attack of the Roach Warren and this Evo chamber. I would say the Roach Warren would have been the structure to focus on, the focal point for your lings. Why? You want to reduce the amount of banes needed to kill this this Roach Warren. So that way you could have more Banes going in here to kill drones and kill lings. Because if what we're going to see here is we're going to see 13 Banes morphing. A bunch of them morphing at different times and it's to create different waves of Banes. So the the nibbling on the wall is happening late. Like the, uh, the nibbling is on this Evo chamber. We have four Roaches are on the way, which if you attack something and destroy the wall quick enough you can get in here where the four roaches are not going to mean anything this roach horn would have been down ages ago the units would have been able to flood in a little bit sooner probably would have had two extra banes right now if the roach horn was focused down before the the banes were even done and now we have this one bane to kill all the lings broodlings we have one Bane over here. It goes on to the Queen. Not the not the Spine. And then now Scarlet is rewalled in with three Queens, a Spine, four Roaches. In this scenario, yeah, it's over. Could have, like, Panabirmi could have tried to come back by droning. Because they're both on uh, similar worker counts. The only difference is that Scarlet is going Roaches and the Roach Horn didn't die and has a second Roach Horn behind this. But if Panda Bear Me like had weakened the wall down, uh, weakened the Roach Horn down sooner, could have busted in sooner, like attacking the Roach Horn, attacking like maybe this Evo. If anything, could have attacked this Evo and, and the Roach Horn at the same time. Whichever one dies first you go through with the rest of your lanes, save as many banes, and go on into the main and kill the drones. There's a lot of different ways that this could have been played out. Uh, and uh, kept more lings alive, kept more banes alive. I feel like softening up the wall is definitely what you gotta do before the, the banes are even going in. Before, like, they're even finished morphing, in my opinion. I've won more games from softening up the wall prematurely sacrificing some links to the queens that are uh, defending queens just so that way I could get more shit in. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this replay cast. If you guys would like me to cast your replays, you can submit your replays at soulreplays at gmail.com. That's S-E-O-U-L replays at gmail.com. Or you can join my Discord and submit them in the StarCraft stuff section down below. If, uh, if you guys would like... Ugh, sorry, I'm screwing this up. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Take it easy. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that video just now. If you wouldn't mind clicking that like, subscribe, and the bell notification down below, really appreciate it. Also, be sure to follow me on my Twitter and Twitch.